chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in a triangle abc o is its circumcenter and angle bac is 50 degrees before i proceed further i must first of all tell you what is the circumcenter so suppose this is a circle and there is a triangle it contains if this triangle is fully contained in the circle that is all its vertices they lie on the circle then the center of this circle is the circumcenter of this triangle so circumcircle is a circle which contains the entire triangle and the center of that circle is the circumcenter of the triangle so if this is the circumcircle then the center of this will be the circumcenter of the triangle so we have this is the triangle a b c and o is the center of the circle and it is also the circumcenter of the triangle and angle bac has been given as 50 degrees angle bac so this angle has been given to us as equal to 50 degrees what is the measure of angle obc angle obc will be something like this so let us join o and b this is the angle which we have to determine o b and c these two angles they look quite unrelated but i can show you by a suitable construction that it is possible to find a relationship between this angle and that angle for this we know that o is the center of the entire circle and it is also called the circumcenter of the triangle both ways what it means is that if we join o to b then this will be the radius r of the circle and similarly if i join o to c then this will also be the radius r of the same circle now if we look at this triangle obc then we can see that triangle obc is isosceles because two if two of its sides are equal to each other being the radii ob and oc of the same circle so we can say that if this angle is theta then this angle will also be theta because angles opposite to equal sides of an isosceles tri triangle are equal to each other so we have to determine the value of the angle theta now let us see the whole figure from an another perspective this bc is an arc bc is an arc it subtends an angle of 50 degrees on the periphery of the circle it is subtending this 50 degree with the help of the point a on the periphery of the circle this arc is subtending an angle of 50 degrees on the periphery of the circle and what about the angle subtended by the same arc at the center of the circle this angle we know from the basic theorem that this angle will be 2 times the angle subtended by the same arc on the periphery so this angle will be 2 multiplied by 50 degrees which is equal to 100 degrees so we can write that angle o will be equal to 2 times angle a that is it will be 2 into 50 equal to 100 degrees 
So now in this triangle OBC, we have this angle is known, these angles are known equal. Let us apply the angle sum property to the triangle OBC. The angle sum property will say that 100 plus theta plus theta should be equal to 180. This angle plus this plus this should be equal to 180 which implies 100 plus 2 theta should be equal to 180 which implies 2 theta should be equal to 180 minus 100 equal to 80 which implies theta should be equal to 80 by 2 equal to 40 degrees. So our answer is that this unknown angle has a measure of 40 degrees. So we can see that in this question a lot of presence of mind was required. The most common thing that we can do is always construct this isosceles triangle and then once this is isosceles these angles they always become determined. In many questions I have seen that those questions that involve a circumcenter this isosceles triangle is almost always there. Then after that we linked this angle to that angle and finally applied the angle sum property to this triangle and we were able to obtain the value of angle theta. Let us move to our next question now. What is the distance of the chord of length 16 cm from the center of a circle of diameter 20 cm? Let us first of all draw a circle. This circle has a diameter of 20 cm. That is its radius is 10 cm. So we will write radius is 10 cm of the distance of the chord of length 16 cm. So we have been given a chord the length of which we can say AB is a chord. The length of AB has been given equal to 16 cm. And if this is the center of the circle then we have to find out the distance of this chord from the center that is if this is a perpendicular and this is a point P we have to find out the length of OP. Now from the basic theorems of a circle and its chord that we proved in our earlier tutorials we can see that if OP is perpendicular to a chord of the circle then this perpendicular will bisect this chord into two equal parts. So, if AB entire length is 16, then the length of this portion PB will be 8 cm and the length of this portion will also be 8 cm. Next, let us join O to B. We observe that OB is the radius of this circle and since the diameter is 20, the radius will be 10 cm. So the OB will be the radius of the circle and we can write it as 10 cm here. And since OPB is a right angle triangle that we can inspect here. Right angle triangle and we need this, this OP. Let us call this as small p. This length OP is required. So now if we concentrate our attention to this right angle triangle OPB then we can see that 10 is known, 8 is known, p can be found out by applying the Pythagoras theorem. So let us write the Pythagoras theorem for this triangle. Square of p plus square of this 8 should be equal to the square of the hypotenuse that is it should be equal to 10 square which implies p square plus 64 should be equal to 100. Square of 8 is 64, square of 10 is 100 which implies p square is equal to 100 
minus 64 which is equal to 36. So which implies P should be equal to square root of 36 that is it should be equal to 6 centimeter. So we can see that even to this simple question we had to apply a lot many theorems. First of all we applied the theorem that a perpendicular on a chord will bisect that chord. So you must be always well conversant with these theorems. You should be remembering these theorems always. So this theorem comes handy at this time and we were able to find out that PP should be 8 centimeters. Then we applied our presence of mind to join O to B and we saw that this is the radius of the circle. And then we also saw that OPB will be a right angle triangle and therefore eligible for the Pythagoras theorem. And here we applied the Pythagoras theorem and ultimately we ended in 6 cm as the answer. So 6 cm is our answer. Let us move on to our next question now.